Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I have a completed, really thick journal to show to you. This one started out as sort of a junky, very junky, not sort of, trashy journal. And remember, we even put this plug on the front. I had found that at the scrap exchange and purchased it. We've got ribbon. I like to just tie things on that I find. You can see out here there is a beer tab or a soda tab that has been sewn to the outside and that's what the charms are hanging from. I know that this was something that was in one of the fun packs. I just love it so much. And I had started putting things in it. I think you've, well, I know you've seen some of this. And one of the things that has been on my mind lately is all of the wonderful happy mail that I've received over the last year, two years. And so, happy mail. It's one of those things that is just an absolute delight to receive, but sometimes, like, I have so much going on in here, I will sit it somewhere and think, okay, I have to get to this. I always look through it. I always know who it's from. I read the cards, and I try to always thank you for sending it. Um, but when I redid the workshop, you know, totally cleaned up out here, I tricked myself and I forgot that I had some things, even some things that I had not even said thank you for. I had, well, I'll just show you. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song. I wanted to show you something that I put under here and then promptly forgot about. There should be a label here somewhere, Pen Pal. So let me tell you about this. Anyway, I decided to go ahead and put some of my happy mail into this. And like this journal has got this beautiful old picture. She is not in my family, but I thought she just looks so happy, her beautiful smile. We've got all sorts of trim and cards, bits of trash and labels, little notes that Jason writes to me. You can see an M&M wrapper here. Um, here are some charms. So Sandra, I believe some of these charms are what you sent me and it was a brand new pack of charms. I decided to put it in here. I had, I had forgotten I had so many things and I want to see them. I want to look at them. Like when I'm inside at night, sitting on the couch, looking through my journals, I want to see this beautiful happy mail. So there are stickers. Sandra, I think you sent those. Let's see what's in here. So there are, like, I see a note from Jay in here. There's one of the envelopes that had stuff in it. Beautiful butterfly sticker there. And Sandra, I think you sent me this napkin. So I went ahead and collaged it or um, decoupaged it onto the page. We've got stickers in here that Nancy sent to me. Envelopes, all kinds of envelopes that have been sent to me with the happy mail and i love that i think a piece of this was in one of the recent fun packs so you can see this is full of like wrappers this is from a, a box that had crackers in it and i've got notes la Chiron has sent me beautiful things and I'm, i don't want to like bore everybody by just taking too too long to go through this Sandra, there's the beautiful card. I love this so much. And, oh, there, yeah, from Sandra S. And that's where the charms were. Just so many beautiful things. There's a tiny little bag up here. What is this? That was from Ava. Beautiful postcard from Jay from Chicago. Oh, look, I love that. That was from La Chiron. And can see part of a box there. This wrapper might have been from Jay, or maybe that's an envelope. Anyway, we've got these vintage cards. Those were sent to me, and we've got the little tea bags. I was sent the tea bags, and I saved the wrappers. Beautiful card there. I think I um, bought that one at the thrift store. And then I believe, yep. La Chiron again, beautiful things, Christmas cards, envelopes. I like to just make little pockets and tuck spots for all of this beautiful stuff. And then, okay, so here we go. Dina, 
sent me this beautiful little tag, little ornament that she made. And I, she had asked me about it. Not like in a way like, did you get my happy mail? I just never mentioned it. And I'm, I try to be really good about saying thank you or showing things on my channel. And I said, no, I didn't. But the more I thought about it, I thought, wait a minute. Is there happy mail somewhere that I forgot about? And I, I couldn't find anything. I was just completely baffled. But somehow there was just this really nagging thought that wouldn't go away. Um, and you know how when you get quiet and you start thinking, like sometimes even when you're asleep or when you just wake up or when you're going to sleep and your mind is getting quiet and you're able to think about things in a way that you're not when you're very busy, like working or taking care of children or whatever. So it hit me. I thought, oh my goodness, I have a whole tray of Happy Mail that is slid under this shelf out here. And there is even a table scarf hanging on the front of it. So I don't see it. It was completely out of sight. Anyway, thank you. I love this. And I'm going to be able to look at it now. I've got your sweet little note. I'm not going to show your address on that, but I wanted to save everything. Uh, there are just some beautiful images in here. Oh, okay. So I think this is, okay, maybe, I, I think it's okay if I say this because I received a message from her husband. But if any of you remember Karen Taylor, who would comment on the channel, she passed away earlier in the year and it just breaks my heart. Um, she sent me some beautiful things through the years and we've communicated for, I don't know, maybe four or five years just because of my channel. And anyway, I know that some of you interacted with her in the comments and I really appreciate her husband letting me know. I knew that she wasn't well. Um, Karen had, and I believe still has the most beautiful spirit anyway that I have this that I can treasure and this has just got all kinds of stuff it's stuff that I put in here but also again you're seeing little cards oh let's see Connie this is a an older card from you I had all sorts of things in this tray that I slid up under the shelf oh there's my tag that I wore at the scrap exchange. I drew one of my little faces on it and an old postcard. This is something really neat. I, it says circa 1890. The photograph itself looks old and I don't know. I just kind of wanted to, to save it. It kept floating around the workshop and I finally said, I'm going to put it in a journal. This art, um, artist trading card. I did not make this created by Christine McNeil Montano or Montano, I found this I, years ago at the scrap exchange and I bought it because my second son started calling himself a baby, a baby zebra when the third son came along. I, I love these old cards. You all have sent me so many beautiful things, but I had to buy the zebra. And let's see, we've got this. That was from a fun pack. Uh, there's a little old card that was sent in happy mail. Jay, I think that bag came from you. This is a card from Jason's sister. She always sort of decorates things. She's a wonderful artist. Uh, we've got a piece of her art hanging in the house, but she just added some extra glitter and stuff to the card. This was really cool. So at the scrap exchange, um, when I was working there, a lady came in and she was wanting to buy a lot of several different items to make something for her church. She bought a whole lot of keys and I gave her a discount. I helped her get things together and she came in. I, like I had even forgotten that she was doing a project. I didn't forget her. She, she would come into the store, but she brought me one of what she made. Um, it's got Jesus is key. Jesus said to Peter, I will give you keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I thought that was so sweet that she brought that to me. So I've kept that and let's see, there's a letter from Jen. I love that. And there's more notes under here. 
uh, the Pasadena Ice Company. Kim, did you send me this? Sometimes I, I can't remember. A lot of things I do remember. But then uh, sometimes I just, I can't because maybe a couple of things came in at one time or something. Gracie, I've got this little thing that you sent. A lot of things, but like I kept this little glassine bag. I don't want to show anybody's address. That's why I'm being a little bit careful, like running through here. So yeah, Gracie, that's the envelope. <laughs> Look at that. Thank you to all the USPS. I love it. I absolutely love it. This journal makes me so happy. And let's see. Okay, I put the paper on to cover up the address. Sandra, there's another charm. And then, so I just put this page on the, um, this that I tied through. Let's see, I need to put that on there. <laughs> there's a pack. I love these things. They used to have these occasionally at the Dollar Tree. That's the first place I ever tried them. But I think uh, Big Lots, these organic sun-dried Turkish figs, they are so good. And, okay, there's stuff in there. An address is in there. And just things that I've glued in. There is a lot. I don't want to show any addresses. There's a lot of stuff in this. Oh, that's old. That was from my dad. That was 19 something, 19. So I won't take everything out and read it, but there are some things in here that are older as well. Uh, so many of you have sent me things. Valerie, I think there's a card in the mix that came from you and more, you know, I again, I'm afraid I'm going to show somebody's address, but I did want to show you one of the things that you can do with Happy Mail. Just put it in a journal. Um, I love this. I love it so much. And of course, when I sit down and pour over this, I pull things out in a way that I can't do when I'm on the channel because, I, again, I don't want to show anybody's address or personal information. And let me show you this. This came from Carolyn. I had a fit over this. This, it's perfect to me. Like it, this is, you can tell it's just fabric that's been wrapped around. I love the raw edges and you open it up and look at this. So we have an envelope over here with a beautiful card from Carolyn and look at what she's put in here for me. I love this so, so much. I need to take that out so I can have it on my desk. And look at this, even a fingernail file. I need these all the time, as you can tell. These pens, I love these pens. This is like just the best. Maybe I should open this and keep my little glue stick in here so that I can glue things in here. I'll even keep that in there too. But just look at this. At all the work that went into this. We've got tags. This is truly, truly a junk journal. It's so amazing. <laughs> so many wonderful things. Like, look at that. Stuck to the page. Like a little, um, for one of the yo-yo quilts, a little, I guess you call them yo-yos, I'm not sure. I love this so much. And I have it on my shelf where I can look at it. Carolyn makes the neatest things too. So let me grab my camera. Because I want to show you a lot of these charms Carolyn sent. And I ended up just um, hanging them. I started to say tying. Hanging those from this really funky lampshade that I made. And then, so this was in the recent Happy Mail hope that's in focus. I think it is. All of these amazing little dangles. I'm like, I'm just crazy over stuff like that. Anyway, I just had to show you this. I think it's, look at all the beautiful images and these little fun things that Carolyn makes. I just love this stuff. This is, this is amazing. Look at the tag from clothing. Got another signature here. There's so much in here. I don't want to take up too much time. I love that. I'm going through every page, but you can see what I'm talking about. 
I just love it. And I'm gonna use it, but I had to put it on the shelf and just look at it for a little bit before I do anything with it. It's so awesome. And then we have more storage in the back. This is absolutely perfect. And it might give you an idea for a design, you know, for designing one. It's a great design. I love the way the ties are on here. So I'm going to stop with that. I did want to start showing you the Happy Mail. And I, like this week, I even got a package from Jay. Jay, I love the magazines. Anyway, thank you so very much, everybody. I appreciate all of you so much. At this time, I would like to thank my Patreon supporters. Without your help, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing, which is have a channel, create content, make journals, and do art full-time. Thank you so much for supporting me like you do. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate always your feedback and suggestions. Okay, bye for now.